Hey there everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. In this video I'm going to take a look at these babies from SM Light. These are all Zigbee coordinators and I'll have to tell you right off the bat, these devices have exceeded every one of my expectations out of them and then some with a killer feature that's a major ace up their sleeve and you, three of you guys, can have a chance to win one of these devices absolutely free so stick around find out why you think these devices are so great and have a chance to win one for yourself let's get started all right guys full disclosure SMI did send me these products for review free of charge but they're not sponsoring this video no money exchanged hands they are not editing this video, all the opinions you are about to hear are completely my own. So let me take it from the absolute beginning. Every time I'm offered to do a product review, not that it happens all that much, I get really nervous about it because a review needs to be reliable, it needs to be credible, it needs to be relevant for a lot of users. And since no device is absolutely perfect, I feel obligated to also find out what's wrong with the device. So a lot of times I will just see the negative potential of a product and just refuse to review it but every time i agree to review a product i always cross my fingers hoping this device will be a perfect one and there will be nothing wrong with it which is never really the case but i have to tell you with these devices i really had a hard time finding something wrong with them a really hard time so let me take it from the beginning all of these devices, all of them are just Zigbee coordinators. They are almost the same, but slightly different in their uh, Zigbee SOC, for example. These are USB ones, these are network ones. I do not use USB coordinators, and I always recommend people not to use them, even though I know they're very popular. First of all, most Zigbee coordinators are usually smaller in size, meaning a smaller antenna, meaning a smaller coverage, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is because in order to build a rock-solid Zigbee network, you need to have your coordinator as much as possible in the center of your house. And then mains power devices as a, for, as a sort of a first string around it, because these devices usually will function as Zigbee routers or range extenders even though it's not the correct term and then spread across the house are battery powered Zigbee devices when using USB coordinators you should you have to connect them physically to where your computer is a lot of times it's in a basement or in a back room or something like that these devices are all network coordinators meaning they connect to your network they connect with an ethernet cable to your network and this makes it easier to find a spot for them more towards the center of the house. But this is where it gets interesting and it's more of a repeating theme from SM Lite. All of these devices can connect to your network via Ethernet. By the way, they are all PoE devices. They are non-PoE versions. But by the way, you don't have to power them with PoE. All of these devices have a USB port and you can connect them to power. But it doesn't really end there. All of these devices can connect to your network if you want to via Wi-Fi. And all of these devices can connect with USB. You can connect the USB port to your computer and use them like a USB coordinator. And what's the, different, what's the difference then between, they, between these devices and regular USB coordinators? Well, every one of these devices has a 5 dB antenna and a 20 dB amplifier. So even if you chose to use them as USB coordinators, you will get coverage unmatched by any other USB coordinator, as, at least as far as I know. But it doesn't end there. Each of these devices has a web interface, and in this web interface, you can choose to run this device either as a Zigbee coordinator or as a Zigbee router or range extender. And this is so refreshing to see nothing is locked, nothing needs to be hacked, you're not tied into an ecosystem, you don't need to create an account in SM Lite servers. SM Lite will basically tell you this is the product, you take it and do whatever you want with it. 
Everything is open to your choice. All of these devices work with ZHA and Zigbee to MQTT with a little asterisk. One of these devices, this one, is in an experimental phase in Zigbee to MQTT, but again, it just works. As I said, all of these devices has a web interface, and in this web interface, System Light has implemented a super killer feature I talked about in my intro. They have implemented a, a, a WireGuard VPN client. Now, think about it. You can create a WireGuard VPN server on your firewall or on your home assistant, configure the client in the web interface, send the device halfway across the world, it will create a secure VPN tunnel to your home assistant, and just like that, you can pair and manage Zigbee devices halfway across the world, and they will just show up in your home assistant. How cool is that? Think about it, in a, in a, if you have a summer house, or uh, in your parents' house in a different city or in a different country, you can just manage Zigbee devices no matter where the actual coordinator is because it will connect with a VPN tunnel to your home assistant, an absolute killer feature. Now, I do want to switch over to the web interface that I talked about because it does, it is uh, something that worth mentioning and uh, talking about. But just before that, I do want to open one of these devices because there's another nice touch SM Lite has implemented. I'm going to open one of the boxes right here and this is how the device looks like. You get the device itself. And the antenna that you just screw to the device. The device can be wall mountable and not only that, SM Light did not forget to send you this sort of a template so you'll know where to drill the holes. Again, another fine touch by SM Light. But here is something that I found that I do not like about this device and it really is the only thing that I could think of. This device design is not really all that good looking so for me even if i'll find a spot for it in the center of my house i will still need to find a way to somehow conceal it because for me it's just an eyesore but again the, the product itself super great and let me walk over to the web interface and then i will talk about the giveaway and how you can win one for yourself let's switch over all right guys so I connected my Zigbee coordinator to network and in my case it's PoE powered so it got its power from the network connection and all I had to do is just type the IP address I got from uh, my DHCP server into my web browser and this is the web interface all the device models have the same uh, uh, web interface and in the dashboard you can see general information about your device which is also nice but in if we scroll down in mode this is where we can choose if the device will be a zigbee coordinator a router this is experimental so i'm not going to talk about it it can be matter over thread border gateway i mean how cool is that but again it's an experimental i'm not going to expand on it and the device can also be a Bluetooth proxy. Again, a very nice touch for me. It very much looks like the guys over at SM Light really wanted to create the device they wanted to have. I see it in almost every feature of the devices. This is where we'll also choose between Ethernet, Wi-Fi or USB. In network, we can change the IP address of the device or other network related settings. If we chose the device to connect via Wi-Fi, this is where we'll scan for Wi-Fi networks and connect to them. In ZHM or, ZA or ZHA, this is where the device, SN Lite again, thought about things very thoroughly. If you want to use the device in Zigbee to MQTT, this is the string or the text you will need to go and, find and add to your configuration YAML. I'm not using Zigbee to MQTT, so I have uh, less uh, to input about it. But if you use ZHA, this is the string you will use 
if your device was not auto discovered by Home Assistant. Usually that's not the case, but again, a very nice touch. In security, something that I will enable right away is to have an authentication username and password before getting inside the web interface. Something I think is very basic. In VPN, this is the killer feature I talked about. You just configure your WireGuard server and add the IP address or private key and public key and basically configure this WireGuard VPN client. And just like that, the device will open a VPN tunnel to your server and devices in a remote location can be controlled in your home assistant. A super great, super killer feature, very unique. In settings and tools, you get general settings like, for example, if you want to change your host name, restart the Zigbee component or, Zig or restart, for example, the device itself, the ESP. In firmware updates, again, something very unique to SM Lite, you can, you can update the core fi firmware or Zigbee updates and you can, again, that's up to you, in a, uh, configure a schedule and on this schedule, the device will look for a, any available updates and will install them. I don't know if I personally would enable that, but again, a unique feature I haven't seen in other Zigbee coordinators. And these are all basically uh, the uh, noteworthy features in the web interface. All right, so I have switched over to the SM Lite website because this is where I think SM Lite actually misses because after watching a review or maybe deciding that you want to get a, a, a Zigbee coordinator for yourself, you would probably go into SM Lite website because I'm not going to tell you which one of these models you should buy because they're slightly different. Every one of them might be best for certain scenarios. So you might want to go into the website and maybe read about the devices or maybe choose for yourself. But when you go into the website, you're absolutely, I think, bombarded with the, the number of options, with the number of models and technical information that I think is not really all that user friendly. And I would think that if SM Lite has so many uh, options or products, I think the best way will be to somehow maybe have a sort of a wizard or a questionnaire for the users, asking them for their needs and then suggesting the models that fit their needs better. I will say that SM Lite does try to provide some comparison data with all the technical specs. And although it, it helps a little bit, it doesn't help enough because again, all of this data is just bombarding the user with technical information. I don't know if everyone will even understand what's going on. SM Lite does try to take it a step further and even sort of rank the Zigbee SOCs that best fit certain needs and, and they're great. The explanations make sense and they're okay, but they are targeted more towards the tech savvy users. I think that uh, all the beginner or the, the people that are not, I don't know, Zigbee radio engineers might get lost here. So having said that, I want to switch over to my test home assistant instance. And this is how it looks like when you connect your device to your network. In notifications, you will see that new uh, devices were discovered and the SLZB06M I connected was immediately discovered and I'll click on configure and submit. By the way, this serial path that you see right here, if you will go back to the web interface and ZHM and ZHA, select ZHA. This is exactly the, the string you will need to enter even if your device wasn't automatically discovered by Home Assistant. So for now, I'll choose submit and I'll choose to erase network setting and, and create a new network because why not? And that's it guys. It just works. It really does just work. Let me click on finish. And that's it. All right, so let's talk about our giveaway. Two of you guys can win the SLZB06 
and one of you guys can win the SLZB06M. All you have to do for a chance to win is, first of all, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and write in a comment why you think you should be the winner and get a free Zigbee coordinator, and you need to use the hashtag SLZB06. I will put the hashtag itself in the description of this video. So guys, I hope you like this video. Good luck on the giveaway, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.